Hello again and welcome to the Arcadium Cast, hosted by me, Tyler. What's going on, folks? Today, again, we play the Stanley Parable. Now, we have played previous videos of this title in succession, so if you want to check out why this room is completely different from others, go check out those previous videos. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet, there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. More broom closet. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay. play the original video in succession to this. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Mm. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. No, he didn't. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise. It reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. <laughs> Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. 
so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? But office layout, the blueprint shows the office from the beginning of the game. The path from Stanley's office to the two doors was the first part of the game that was built. Sections have been added and altered throughout development through the core layout remains, though the core layout remains identical to the first iteration. Oh my god. The pacing of the corridor section was important to get right. The corridor has been moved and altered to make sure the player reaches the two doors. Two doors. So the two doors was the very first concrete piece of the Stanley Parables design. Once this room was created, the rest of the game emerged as an extension of it. An exploration of the contradiction that this room imposed. Wow. Checking out the credits. Nice. Office computers. Boss's office seems from development of Boss's office. Wow. Office clock. Employee lounge. Stanley stood up and greeted him. Stanley walked over the bridge. <laughs> Underground portion of the game. So I'm in the game, understanding the mechanics of the game. Wow. The maintenance room, early version of the maintenance room. Zone. Early development of design and ending where Stanley woke up on a battlefield fighting aliens. Action of the game would be sentient and would rage more against an area. It's too jokey and on the nose tone for the game. Plus, some people interpret it as making fun of people like shooters. Not our intention. Wow. Green light. Are you gay? Dink dunk. <laughs> the apartment timer, previous version, choice leading to the apartment ending. Time will give you 15 seconds to pick up the phone, up here the phone will lead to a different ending. Yes, never designed and ultimately it was the simplest version. I agree. The 
It's ending levers. It's ending. The screenshot depicts an early version of the ending known as Zending, which was eventually cut and merged with another part of the game. Zending world. The game is now falling out of the beginning of the game again. Escape menu. Ending that only ended when the player restarts in the escape menu. Unfortunately, very few players realize this was what they were supposed to do, which was frustrating for everyone. Four major teaser trailers over the course of the game's development, each meant to convey something about the spirit of the game. Broken rooms of the voice in there are informing that he is preparing a new version of the Stanley Parable. Okay. Don't have time for this. Okay. I wish I did. I wish I did. Okay. Cool. Countdown desk. Due to an one of the <laughs> desk. Monitor room elevator. Countdown room. Been there. What the shit? This game is huge. Room design mock up. Evolution of Stanley's office. Wow. And I am Stanley. This is my game. <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Okay. And that is one of the endings of the Stanley Parable. Now you can check this in other videos at the Arcadium Cast, located at YouTube. You can also check out the podcast, the Arcadium Podcast, so at ecmmogamers.com, also found on iTunes or my Twitter account, Arcade Professor. More videos on the way, the Stanley Parable.